we are. It's all back the way that Robart intended it to be. Chains, gearbox, um, all one unit. All that's missing, if you take notice at the top, no air system. All the two tubes are gone. Now you don't have to have a tank in it. No switch, no servo to turn it off and on. It's all done by one uh, regulator at the top, an actuon, uh, actuator. Uh, works very smooth. You can control the speed. And here we go. I'll show you. You can see the actuator pulling it up. And of course the wires are not supposed to go up with it. They will be all strapped in once it's motors all back in again. But we'll put this back down. Works excellent, guys. The other way I liked it also with the SUSE individual servos, because take notice here now, when you're not using this, you cannot tuck those wheels up and like you could having the two individual servos that weren't powered. Um, this unit is all one piece now. Both wheels work together. You only have one servo you're using where you had two servos before or two channels, uh, but you could regulate the channel separately. So this way here, you, you, in other words, you have one channel and only one adjustment. Works fine now. Here we go again. Actually, hold on. Let me get this little wire out of the way here. Well, it'll be all strapped down, down to the bottom down there when uh, we're all done. But let's uh, let's try it again for you. And I would have to think, no exaggeration, before making this video here, I must have tried this 30, 50 times, and it's never been a problem. All right, guys, that's my way of doing it. That's the third way, actually. Air individual servos, or an actuator. Okay, thanks guys.